The last thing I want to show you on the financial side, if I go ahead and open up one more thing here, is just an example of how if you want to use something like this to do some more formal type reporting, because it's still power pivot, you're still somewhat limited to the confines of a pivot table, rows and columns, and how creative you can get with that. There are some techniques that we've uh, identified and leveraged, and we've helped customers uh, do this, this type of reporting. So here, if I click on the income statement tab, we can see here we've got a, an income statement with um, you know, month-to-date actuals and budgets and year-to-date. And we've got you know, revenue, cost of sales, gross profit. Um, we've got to look at, let's say, employee expense. So if I click on this employee expense, there. Think in here for a second. All right, so I click on that plus, I can see employee expense broken down by object account, drill into an object account, and see the breakdown by business unit. Again, because it's a pivot table, a user can say, well, I want to actually see that employee expenses by business unit first and then object. They could actually just drag up that business unit above and then click on this and collapse the entire field. Right, just like before, you can show details, get down to the, the detail. But now, you know, some users have some flavor of ad hoc um, in their, their financial analysis. I'll go to the next tab, maybe a consolidating. So right now I've got just one uh, column here. Um, but let's say we wanted to see this by a different business unit category code. So if we go and grab our codes, maybe a BUCAT code 1, I just drag that into my columns. We can see now maybe a consolidating report where I've got my different divisions or, or business segments as different columns in my report. Right now this is calculating year to date, click on quarter to date, it can recalculate based on quarter to date. We want to look at you know budget instead of actuals, things like that. So, so this is where you can kind of build some dynamic um, uh, reporting. Uh, looking at a quarterly report, you can see here quarter one, two, three, uh, four, because I've got through period nine, we go back to our slicers and say, okay, well, let's look at this through period six instead. And then go back to our quarterly report. All right, you can see here now it's updated only through quarter two when the other two are blank. You can also, if you want to, let's say, instead of have the remaining actual columns be blank, you might want to do a blend. So in this case, I chose period six. I've got period one through six as actuals but I have now dynamically filling the, the remaining months as budgets, year-to-date actual, total year budget, maybe year-to-date actual plus remaining budget and a variance. So if I put that back to nine, you'll see actually seven, eight, and nine will be swapped out and be calculating actual, uh, displaying actual instead of budgets there. Okay, so now we click back here, you can see period six, seven, and, or eight, and nine are now actuals and then the remaining are budgets. So again, just another flavor, you can build these types of reports. If you have extremely complicated financials, my guess is that this would not be the right tool um, to use. However, you might be able to get parts of your, your financials. Um, but yeah, we've actually helped uh, several customers get uh, this to be their, their go-to for, for monthly analysis. And some are using it to, to share with managers, and some are just using this in their month end close process to kind of get to those final numbers because um, you know, once everything's set up, again, I just hit data, hit refresh. If I just posted a journal entry in JD Edwards, right, I post it in the system, so I want to see that reflected here. I go here and hit data refresh, and it goes out there, requeries JD, and brings it right back, and I've got that result. Okay, so it's that um, that connected to, uh, to, uh, to the data. Okay, so that's as far as we're going to take the, um, the uh, power pivot in this example. Um, 